Hallelujah. 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 Ni musaba muzahabwa ni kijambo ry'Imana tubwira sibyo 
rero tugiye gutegeka tugiye guhanurira ibyacu kandi icyo wiyaturira ku buzima bwawe burya ngo kijya kibaho haleluya
kwirata wenyine kwirata umwana w'umuntu eje araguhinduka ariko Yesu naga jya hinduka haleluya haleluya ibihe byose uko yarari kera n'uyu munsi ni kwa ari kandi ina kwa zahura haleluya haleluya hashi ngeye
Yeah. 
Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen.
Yes, I see my Hallelujah. 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 Yes, I see you. Najiri, we will know you must need to move your wagon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I see you, Chan. What hands are Mazina and Janitwa? Number of Paul. Do you pape? Hallelujah. Dumu papushi imimana. Yesa shimwe chani. Dumu papa ubiji nirimana. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yesa shimwe. Yesa shimwe chani. Mwanya muto ya nsiga nyandaza kuko de shaneza. Abanu muri hano mufite gushimi imana. Najirango Moze kunchi di siri hachiri kare kujirango bimenye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesa shimwe chani. Kadusome ichandi tukachiri imuri. Matayo ibiche bitanda tu. Duhere kumurongo wa ho wachumini chenda. Himo kiwi chire uvutu unzi mwisi aho ingese Aho inyenzi ninjese biburja. Kandi abajura bachukura baka, bachukura baka bugiwa. Ahubgo mwibi chile uvutu nzi mwijuru. Aho inyenzi ninjese zitaburja na bajura. Ni bachukure ngo bavgiwe. Kuko aho uvutu nzi vugawe vuri. Ariho numutima wawe. Uzawa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I shim. Yes, I shim. Chan. What is the name of the Kuza? Matana Yu Mons. Uwo Nibu Mutun Zibuka, you Murimo Kuivi, Chira Aho, Inyenzi, Ninjas, Zitajera. Hallelujah. Abadi Dimji, Iman, the Vires of Mujisha, and the Kandi Mukomedeza. Murimo Gukora, Murimo Hambaye. 
murimo gukora umurimo ukomeye ntimugacogore mukomerezaho Bibiliya itubwiye neza ko bikwiriye ko tubika ubutunzi bwacu aho inyenzi ningese bitagera aho nta handi ni mu bwami bw'Imana Haleluya Yesu ashimwe cyane ariko bidusaba kuba maso cyane kuko ku murongo kurikiyeho wa 22 haravuga ngo itabaza ry'umubiri ni ijisho ijisho ryawe nirireba neza umubiri wawe wose uba ufite umucyo Haleluya Imana idufashe kugyanga amase yacu age areba neza Ntitukarebe ibidafite umumaro ahubwo ture turangamire iby'umwuka Haleluya no yagerageza kureba ibidakwiriye ujusenge imana cyane kugira ngo zigire inshuta tazagukebura Haleluya Haleluya Yesa shimwe cyane Uyu munsi ni kicyumweru tugira amateraniro nk'ibisanzwe amateraniro atangira saa 3 zuzuye Ariko Bibiliya itubwira neza ngo tujye tuzindukira mu nzu y'Imana tuyiranye tuyihimbaze bidushobokiye tujye tunata dukerirewe amateraniro yacu rero atangira saa 3 imwe na rimwe agasoza saa 6 n'igice ariko hari ni gihe tujya turenzaho iyo mwuka yabyemeye haleluya haleluya yesa shimwe mbahaye kaze mu nzu y'Imana muyimba mika muyimba mika ze mwese mbire mugenzi wawe ngo uhawe ikaze mu nzu y'Imana kandi ugubwe neza twagize amahirwe turi kumwe numushumba wacu pastor innocent duzindana tumukomere amashi menshi cyane turi kumwe na admin witorero Imani muwe mugisha cyane. Turi kumwe n'abayobozi batandukanye bitorero nabo Imana ibaherereza mugisha cyane. Nanone abakristu mwese muhawe kaze mugubwe neza. Hallelujah. Yesa shimwe. Katureye ni bari umushitsi wateranye natwe uyu munsi. Muri iterano kugira ngo tumwake. Hallelujah. Haleluya. Yesu ashimwe. Yesu ashimwe cyane. Tugwayikaze ugubwe neza. Twitwa itorero ry'umunezero w'agakiza cyangwa se The Joy of Salvation Church. Twishimiye kubana nawe. Haleluya. Twakiriye nabadukurikiye online nabo imana ibaherereza umugisha cyane. Haleluya. Tujeze mukandi kanya keza. Pamwe tujya dukunda ko kumva amatangazo. Haleluya. Haleluya. Tangazo rya mbere umwa imana aracyari ku ngoma kandi aracyadukunze cyane. Haleluya. Haleluya tangazo rindi nuko amateraniro yacu tugira amateraniro yo mibyizi kuwa gatatu tugiye iteraniro rya nimugoroba ariko umunsi wose tuba dufite kwiyiriza dusenga abantu twirirwamo hano dusenga nange nishizemo ariko ntago bijya binkundira kuboneka hano ariko aho aho mbandi bandi kumwe namwe haleluya twatera na nimugoroba ariko twiremo dusenga tukagira na lunch hour tuba dufite ijambo turiga hanyuma kuwa mbere kuwa gatatu kuwa gatano no kucyumweru mu kitondo saa 11 tuba dufite niba ture cyangwa se igicaniro turabyuka kare tugasenga tugaterana kuri Zoom. Haleluya. 
namwe mukwiriye kujya mu yitabira ubyitabire ntago bwari bwagera ku rwego rushimishije niyo mpamvu buri gihe tubibutsa tubakangurira kugira ngo mujye muterana natwe muri cyo gitondo haleluya yesa shimwe yesa shimwe cyane harufite gushima imana haleluya awanyandikiye ariko niba ari uhari namuha inoti ibiri agashima imana kubwa ari ntawe namashimwe umitima imana irayemera yesa shimwe tunezerewe no kongera kubana na kagame imana imuhereze kugisha cyane haleluya twa hetumaze iminsi tari kumwe nawe tulashima ku imana ya muri ndiyaho yarari tukaba twongeye kumubona haleluya tulashima imana ko turi kumwe na Vincent nawe ntago yaraherutse imana imuhereza umugisha cyane haleluya yesa shimwe cyane tugeze mu kanya keza ko kuramya imana mu byo yaduhaye icya 10 amashimwe na maturo ufite cya 10 wakizanye uraza kumanika ikiganza kurutokere araza kugwereza envelope kugira ngo ushire mi cya 10 cyawe haleluya kuba fite amaturo muyafite kuri telefone no kuri bank birakunda ko uyakuraho kayashira kuri kayoreza kuri telefone tugira telefone tujya duturaho amaturo ni cya 10 bigukundiye MTN ni 079 amazera tatu mirongo itanu mirongo irindwi na gatandatu zero karindwi icyenda amazera tatu mirongo itanu mirongo irindwi na gatandatu Airtel cyangwa setigo ni zero karindwi gatatu mirongo irindwi n'umunani makumyabiri n'icyenda mirongo itanu n'umunani gatandatu zero karindwi gatatu mirongo irindwi n'umunani makumyabiri n'icyenda mirongo itanu n'umunani gatandatu katwakire abaririmbye nanone batuyobore muri iki gikorwa dutanga amaturo haleluya haleluya abaririmbye ni karibu turaza kubahereza indirimbo imwe nziza nziza hanyuma turaza kuba twakira pasta asengera amaturo dukomereza aho nizindi adukomereze nizindi gahunda zikurikiyeho haleluya abaririmbye ni karibu is mine, is mine, is mine, falling from mom. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Jesus is mine, is mine.
We thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, my Lord. You are so good, O God. You're so sweet unto everybody. You're such a loving Father. We give you glory, O God. You are our Savior, God. You're a loving God. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you for everything, O God. We bless your name, Jesus. We worship you, Holy Spirit. You are my Savior, God. You are my Savior, O God. You are my Savior, you are my Savior, o God. You are my Savior Jesus. Let your name be glorified. Raise your hands in the presence of God. I want you to say, Jesus, you are my Savior. You are my Savior, O God. You are the Savior of my life. You are the Savior of my family. You are the Savior of everything that pertains to me, O God. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being so good unto me. We give you praise. Praise, O oh Jesus. We worship you, Holy Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the offerings and tithes and thanksgiving. Bless every hand that has given unto you, Lord. Bless every heart that has brought unto you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, I cast the devourer. In Jesus' mighty name, the devourer shall not come on your accounts. The devourer shall not come in your businesses. In the name of Jesus Christ, every evil plan, I fought it and I destroy it in Jesus' mighty name. I break every plan of hell against your life. Father, the Bible says, that he give and shall be given unto you a good measure pressed down shaken together and flowing over you will give it back to our God. I pray that you bless these people my God I pray that you bless this congregation of God I pray that you bless everybody that is in your house today let the blessings of Abraham Abraham and Isaac be upon every person of God. I cast every evil spirit. I cast every demonic attack. In the name of Jesus Christ. In this service today, we are going to see your grace, God. We are going to see your glory. The sick are going to be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, the blind are going to see. The dead are going to hear, O oh God. Our spiritual eyes are going to behold you, oh God. Our spiritual ears are going to hearken unto your voice. For the Bible says that from today, my eyes shall, be, shall see, my ears shall hear, every prayer that shall be prayed in this house. This is the house of our Father. We are in the house of our Father. I declare your life life in Jesus name, life in abundance. the Bible says oh God Almighty, that for this cause the son of man has come for this cause the son of man has come so that he may destroy all the works of the enemy the Bible says oh God that the, the thief comes not but to kill, to steal and to destroy but praise be to God for Jesus he has come that those who trust in him will have life and life in abundance I declare an abundant life Life. I declare abundant blessings. I declare abundant glory of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of 
God. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, my God. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus of Mighty. Is it not your only happy to be here? Is it not your only issue? We glorify you. We can be good here, but whatever that you come at him and a machine. We forget the moon do. We forget to come in a quayo. To Jacob come in for Goyani, Hame. If Goyani, Hame. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, whatever God says, it is accomplished in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, raise your hands in Jesus' mighty name. Just, just wait for the day or an hour. As you close your eyes and as you raise your hands in the presence of God, we want you to have faith in God. Believe God in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah.
is after your word. Whatever you say, you fulfill it, O God. There are promises that you have fulfilled in our lives. There are other promises that we are still waiting for, O God. We trust in you, O Jesus, that these other promises will come to pass. Some trust in horses. Others trust in chariots. But our hope is in the name of the Lord. Our hope is in your Jesus. We thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you, King of Glory. It is you that has given us life. It is you that has given us jobs. It is you that has given us families. It is you that has given us children, O God. It is you that has given us peace. We thank you today, O God. And we thank you forever. We thank you forever. We thank you forever. We, you forever. we, you forever. we, you forever. we say holy is your name, Jesus. We say holy is your name. Your name is Adonai. Your name is Rafa. Your name is Elion. Your name is El Shaddai. Your name is La. Your name is Elion. Your name is Nisi. Your name is Shama. Your name is El Elion. Your name is El Gibor. Your name is El Kana. Your name is Emmanuel. You are God that is with us. Today you are here, God. You are here, O God. You're going to speak to every person for the glory of your name. Let our presence diminish so that yours will be magnified in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody that is under this roof, we commit them in your hands, Lord. Speak to their mind. Speak to their heart. Take away their sorrows. Wipe their tears. Take away their sicknesses. Answer their prayers. Give them life. Give them hope. Let your spirit prevail. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 My turn, clap unto God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let us be silent in the presence of God. Don't listen to any other voice. Allow God to speak to you. In his still voice, let him speak to you. From the bottom of your heart, I want you to invite and welcome his spirit. 
bivuye mu ndi bayo mutima wawe ndagusaba kugira ngo wakire uhikaze mwoka we the bottom of your heart i want to respect the presence of the holy spirit bivuye mu ndi bayo mutima wawe ndagira ngo ubahe kubaho ku mwoka we i want you to have that yearning from your heart of saying that god may you speak to me today ndagira ngo ugire ubwo bushake buva mu mutima ubwira imana ngo mana uvugane nanjye uyu munsi as you worship him from the bottom of your heart wiramya bivuye mu ndi bayo mutima let this worship de kukukuramya connect to the presence of God. May God speak to you now. May God take away your worries. May he take away your concerns. May he remove every barrier that has been before you. May he wipe every tear. He is a God who sees your tears. He has not forgotten you. He has not forgotten you. I hear his his voice telling me that he has not forgotten us. He has not forgotten us. He still remembers us. He has engraved us into his palms. We are his people. We are his children. We are the people of God. The nation of God. The beloved of Jesus. The redeemed of the Lord. Oh God bless everybody. Oh continue thinking and meditating upon his love. May the spirit of the Lord come and speak to every person. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I want you to forget everything else. I want you to forget everything else. I want you to forget everything else. Forget your phone. Forget your issues. Forget your troubles. Forget your problems. God is in control. 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 His spirit is moving. His spirit is touching you. His spirit is doing you good. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit of God. In Jesus' name. The Spirit of God came to Ezekiel and he got him out of his comfort zone. He took him into the valley of dry bones. And he said, Son of man, what do you see? He said, I see dry bones. And he asked him, do you think these bones can live again? He replied that you know God. There might be some situations in your life. There are some circumstances that you have been going through that seem to be like those dry bones. But I want to promise you if the dry bones could come one to another and if sinews and skin came upon them and if the breath of God came into them and they became alive and they became a great army I know your life your situation can rejuvenate again. It can again become alive. Such hard conditions can become easy in the presence of God for the glory of his name. God does it for his own glory. May he do it for his glory in your life. Every spirit of accident I destroy it in 
in Jesus' name. I destroy your spirit of accident. Leave these people. They are not going to die of accident. They are not going to die impromptu death. In Jesus' mighty name. They are protected. They are safe. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. A mighty hand clap unto God. A mighty hand clap unto God. Worshippers, God bless you. you go back to Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I greet you all in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Greetings. Uh, and I believe that today is going to be a day of great experience in the presence of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone is most welcome. I want to welcome the leaders. God bless you so much. Worshippers, God bless you. You are doing a good job. Paul, God bless you. He led us nicely. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul, you are welcome back. We thank God that you went with him and came back safely. Maybe you are still preparing your testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes God does things in our lives and we take them for granted, but I know this is not for granted. He is uh, still preparing something. Uh, I'm preparing something. Yeah, he spent some days in the sky somewhere there. So we thank God for, for you. Uh, and we thank God for what he's doing in your life. There are some people that I've seen. I had taken long without seeing them. My daughter. Onera. Onera. God bless you, my daughter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. We love you. Praise the Lord. It has been a long time. How many kids now? Three kids. Three kids. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank God that has protected you. Uh, God bless you. We thank God for Pamela, my sister. God bless you so much. We love you. It's been a long time. We thank God that you are here. I want to thank God for everyone. But my son, Kavera, do you know Kavera? Maybe you know only no Gaba. We thank God for you. Uh, and we thank God for your family. God has given them another child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he has not come here because he has not come with the wife and the baby. But we thank God that you, uh, you got uh, another kid. The delivery was so successful. Uh, we thank God for that. Praise the Lord. So I want to thank God for every one of you. I cannot mention every name. But uh, allow me to, to, thank, uh, to thank someone. This is a man of God who has a heart of God. Every time he comes and says something that is not in order here in church, he doesn't ask. You just find that everything is neat. If it concerns construction, he does it. Everything with a good heart. Allow me to thank Papa Ivan. You are a good man. God bless you so much. You know, 
Whatever you see is here. If you find it neat, know that it's Papa Ivan who has done it. If some lights are Praise Jesus. This is a man of God. May God, May God do you good. Praise the Lord. You, it was very important that I mentioned this. It's challenging. You are a good man. Uh, some few announcements. Matangazo uh, machi. We thank God that uh, one of our daughters yesterday had a wedding and it was so colorful. Our daughter Lita had a wonderful wedding. Thank you for supporting her. Thank you for standing with her. And thank you for your prayers. May God bless you. Those who manage to attend the wedding and those who manage to, to, to support her may all be blessed. Uh, our sister Karen is not here today. Uh, her husband got an accident yesterday. I want you to pray for, 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 for him. I mean her husband. Uh, the accident was not uh, it was not a minor injury but we believe God is going to do great miracles so they went to the hospital if you can you can visit them you can call her and stand with her may God bless you the spirit of accident we are going to fight it we will fight it and we will continue fighting it in Jesus name and the devil will not steal your life in Jesus name I know the husband is going to get well praise the Lord uh, finally there are some people that I want to meet. It will only be five minutes. Only five minutes. And by 12.30 I'll be done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. These are the people that I want to meet. Uh, Arthur. Arthur, Emma, Emma, David, na David, Hope, na Hope, na Ivan, na Ivan, Sylvia, uh, Sylvia, Dumvari Bavari Hano, na Abogus. I think you've heard the names. Arthur, Emma, David, Hope. Ivan, Paul, eh, not Paul, Paul on Hambara, Basilevi. Those are the, those are the announcements. So let's go into the Word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us prepare our hearts to receive the Word of God.
Today is another new day. It is the day the Lord has made. We have to be glad and rejoice in it. So our sermon says, understanding God is plan for your life. Understanding God is plan for your life. Everyone of us was created by God for a purpose. The plan that God created us for, they have to be fulfilled while we are still alive. Long time ago, there was a meeting in heaven. Actually, it's like a story. You know, when when we were still in, in primary, while they were telling us stories, they would say, story, 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 tell us. Huh? Mm -hmm. So it's like a story, but in this story, we are going to get our, out our lesson. I want to teach and I want to be slow. So a long time ago before time began there was a board of directors that this board who had only three members. It was a board of three members. They had a very powerful meeting. This board of directors, it was, the it was uh, led by the God the Father. And there was God the Son. And there was God the Holy Spirit. So they had a heavenly meeting. So they decided in heaven. They said we have enjoyed everything together. We have had wonderful fellowship. We, we have had wonderful harmony. Yes, we have had absolute holiness. We have had all righteousness. They said all this has been there and we've enjoyed it. But they say there is something more that we need. We need to multiply this image, our image, so that our image can get to many. And as our images, our image gets multiplied, our plan will get to many people. We don't want our plans to remain with us. So the purpose of this meeting, on the agenda of the meeting, uh, it was to create somebody that had the image of the, of the board of directors and this person was to make the plans of God get further from heaven and go to the entire Wow. So, the purpose of the meeting was to create a creature that would exhibit all the attributes, all the characteristics of themselves. Then, as they were there, they said, let us create archangels. They created archangels. Like Angel Gabriel. Like Angel Michael. Like Lucifer. Yes, he was also an angel. So they created them. They said, these are going to be glorifying us in heaven. 
But after they had created them, they looked at them, they said, though we have created them, but they don't have our image. They don't have our likeness. So these are not the ones that will fulfill or will take our plans to the entire world. They, they said, only these ones, they will give us glory. They will be worshipping us here in heaven. But they won't take the message to where we want it to go. So after creating the archangels, they, they saw that they didn't have their image. So they created angelic forces. Yes. And that other beings that had forces. These are like the seraphims, the cherubims, all these were also created and they were given their responsibilities as the spirit of God wanted them to do. But still, the seraphims and the cherubims had no image of God. Remember, we are talking about understanding the plans of God to mankind. Praise the Lord. So the angels did not have the image of God. The angelic forces do not have the image of God. Though so they had their own reason as to why they were created. So the board of directors decided they said all that we have created they have done they are going to do their own role. But we need to create an a creature there is a creature that we need to create that, is a, that looks like us that will take our plans to the entire world. So they decided to create man. That's how you are created. That's how I was created. So they created Adam. From Adam they created Eve. They lived in the Garden of Eden. They ate and enjoyed all that was there. But still God's plan had not yet been fulfilled because he had given them roles and responsibilities and then as they were taking care of the Garden of Eden, they had been given what to do, the do's and the don'ts. Unfortunately, they did what they were not allowed to do. And because the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, then God had to punish them because they disobeyed him. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we still together? So God had to punish them. I don't want to go into the history of everything that happened. But there is somewhere that I want to take you. So God said, I am going to punish you. I have put an enmity between you and the one who lied to you. Uh, between you and the, and, and the serpent. When you get the serpent, you see the serpent. What, one thing you have to do, you will crush its head. And they told the serpent, one thing that you see upon man, when you see him, you will bite his heel. That was an enmity that was put between man and, 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 and uh, the serpent. Then that love that used to exist, that fellowship that used to exist between God and man, 
rero urwo rukundo nubwo bumwe bwabaga hagati y'Imana n'umuntu it was no more ntabwo bwongiye kubaho because the bible says that the next day when god came uko birira vuga ngo buke y'Imana igarutse when they heard him coming bumvise imiri Imana ije they hid themselves barihisha praise the name of the lord zina ryuwiteka they hid from themselves from god barihisha bihisha Imana god called adam adam Imana irahamagarite adam adam uri hehe then he said i have seen that I am naked. Remember, this person used to be naked even before. But he had, he, he could have fellowship with God. And now the reason as to why God had created man, it was, it seemed to be declining. Then there had to be someone to bring back the relationship. That was Jesus Christ. He became a bridge between man and God. Because still God's plan was to be fulfilled. The Bible says God is a merciful God. And Jesus is seated on the right hand of God. Interceding for us. So let us go into the teaching that I want us to know. We are saying that we need to understand the plans of God upon man. Praise the name of the Lord. God's plan upon man is to have dominion, is for man to have dominion of everything. Number two, the plan of God for mankind is to show them love. You know, there are people who have love, but who have failed to get whom to love. But we as human beings, if we don't have a lover, remember there is a God who loves you. The plan of God is to love you. The plan of God is to be with you. Even when you are still a sinner, he redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. So the Bible says, God is blind for mankind is to show them love. Is to give them victory over the challenges of their life. Is to give them a future for their plans. We will see this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us read Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and 27. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 Then God said let us make man in our image according to our likeness let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air and over the cattle over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on earth so God created man in his own image in the image of God, he created him. Imana iravugiti, tureme umunu ajire ishusho yacu ase natkwe. Batkware amafio munyanja, ninyo nini visiga vyo mchirere, na matungo nisi yose. Niji kururuka hasi chose. Imana iremu umunu, ngo ajire ishusho yayo, afiti ishusho imana niko ya muremye. Umugawonu mugore niko ya baremye. Amen. Amen. I want us to learn something from here. In the plans of God, he had created everything. He had created the earth. He had created the heavens. He had separated the land from the sea. He had created the animals that live in sea. And he created birds and other animals. And after creating them, he saw that none of them would have dominion over them. Over one another. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible says. So the Bible says, God said, let us make man in our own image. Why was man created? 
When we read verse 26, we see that God created man in his own image. And he created him to lead. To lead. To lead. Let us make man in our image. Let them have dominion. One way to reflect God's image is to have dominion. So when God created you, he created you to have dominion over everything. Today we have issues. But the problem, most of the problems that we have is because we don't understand the power that has been bestowed to us by God. If we understood our identity, if we understood the power that God has given us, if we understood the position that God has given us, you know, we wouldn't be lamenting every time. But the reason we lament today is we haven't understood the plan of God upon our life. For the Bible has told us that let us create man in our own image. Let him have dominion over everything. Remember the Bible says in the book of Psalm 82 verse number 6 he says it is I that say that you are God and you are the sons of the most high if we are the sons of the most high we need to know that we have dominion we have gotten power we have gotten authority over everything now one thing that I want us to know I want us to change the way we talk let us change the way we confess whatever you confess is what you become so the devil will intimidate you so that you start speaking negative words and those negative words that you speak will create impact on your life they create a negative impact on your life that's why the bible says let the poor say that I'm rich let the sick say I'm healed we need to learn how to use our tongues well because the plans of God upon our lives is that we have dominion of everything is that we have authority over everything is that you have authority over your sicknesses that you have authority over your troubles may God give you power over all everything that has been against your life so the very first reason the very first reason for the creation of God or for the creation of man is that man would have dominion over everything. Well, and in having dominion, we will lead everything. Number two is that God commands both men and female to have dominion, not only man, but also a woman. So both of us have been given this ability we have been given this authority to lead because this leadership is not gender specific praise the Lord hallelujah it's not only male that can cast demons women can cast demons it's not only male that can lead we have seen females leading so I want to tell you that God's plan upon your life is that you have dominion over everything. Actually, there is a scripture which says it is both in Psalms and the book of Hebrews. Somebody was asking who is man that you are mindful of him? 
who is man that am I full of him? Who is man that you are mindful of him? You made him a little lower than the angels. And you gave him authority over everything. There is nothing that you left there that you didn't give him control over. So this is the right of the Hebrews who is saying this. We don't know who wrote the book of Hebrews. Praise the Lord. If any one of you knows who wrote it, you will, give, you will tell us. But I don't know who wrote the book of Hebrews. Praise the Lord. So we, the, the author of the book of Hebrews is not known. But he says, who is man that you are mindful of him? You made him a little lower than the angels. You gave him authority over everything. There is nothing that you have left without giving him control over. Now, man is you and I. Remember that God, now I want you to know that God is plan upon your life. Is that you have dominion of everything. Is that you lead over everything. Is that what you speak, it is fulfilled. Because you are in the image of God. Because you are a child of God. When you speak something with faith, God is after that word so that you will accomplish it with signs and wonders. So man was created to lead Adam was created to have dominion. So the board of directors gave Adam authority to rule over. He gave him authority to rule over everything on earth. And to manage everything that was there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we read in the book of Psalm, actually I want to bring all these together. Before we conclude, you will have had something where I want us to go. Psalm 8 verse 3 and verse 4. The Bible says, when I look at your heavens, the works of your fingers, the moon and stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you care for him. Read. Eight. Three. Chapter eight, verse three and four. Uh, Zawuri umunani umurongo wagata tunuwakane. Akanwakawa nabato nabonga uu. Uh -uh. Wagahaye gukomeza imbaraga zawe. Somo kuri chuo tulewe. Iyo ni tajereji juru. Aha na. Umuri moi no chizawe. Yego. Nukwe zini nyenyeri ibjo waremi. Umu nuni chi kumi kumi vuka. Changwa umwa na umu nu ko umu ko umu genderera. Wenze kumu jirangi mana auraho gat. Hato. Mhm. Umwambika ubwiza n'icyuba hiro n'ikamba. Mhm. Wamuhaye gutegeka ibyo waremesheje intoki zawe. Mhm. Wamweguriye ibintu byose ubishyira munsi y'ibirenge bye. Mhm. Wamuhaye gutwara intama zose n'inka. Mhm. N'inyamaswa zo mwishyamba nazo. Mhm. Nibiguruka mu kirere n'amafiyo mu nyanja. Mhm. Nibi nyura munzira zo munyanja byose. Mm. We take a mami. So I don't want us to be led astray. I want you to keep focused. The Bible has told us where we have led. Verse 3 or 4, depending on which version. So it has told me. This is the Bible saying, when I consider your heavens, 
and the works of your fingers. The moon and the stars which you have ordained. What is man that you are mindful of him? And the son of man that you visit him. For you have made him a little lower than the angels. And you have crowned him with glory and honor. The purpose of your creation is that you will lead over everything. Is that you will have dominion of everything. Actually, David is answering the question here. Because he this is a question of identity. Who, who he was wondering who he was in the presence of God. And then he said, when I look at the works of your hand, I want us to imagine this. Look at the works of the Lord. How wonderful they are. Look at the creatures that God has created. How wonderful they are. But God did not choose them to rule. He chose you and I. To rule over everything. And David is asking the question. Who am I, O God? Who is man, O God? That you are mindful of him. You are at the heart of God. God considers you at heart. When he created you, you were not an accident. He created you for a purpose. There are the plans of God that are filled in your life that you have to accomplish today. You have to live by the plans of God. You have to accomplish these plans of God. Praise the Lord. So David says, who is man, O God, that you are mindful of him? Who is man, O God, that you think about him? Who is he? I don't understand. Now David here sees clearly he saw his own weakness because he says you created him to have dominion of everything. But when he looked at his, himself, he never had authority of everything. When we look at ourselves, we don't have dominion of everything. But that is, the, that is the weak point that I want us to investigate. It is something that I want us to dig out so David begins by asking a question why does God even give any thought to, to me why does God think about me why is he mindful of me why does God think of you When we remember this, it should keep us humble. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, man was created a little lower than the angels. But it is not the angels that God gave dominion. It is not the archangels that angels gave dominion. It's not the seraphims and the cherubims that God gave dominion. It is you and I that God gave dominion to. So God has bestowed upon us the power and authority has given us wisdom and has created us in his image so that we exhibit the plans of God so that we take the plans of God to the uttermost part of the earth. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Have you ever asked to yourself who am I that God is mindful of me? Why has God remembered you? 
When you look at yourself and compare yourself with other people, sometimes you seem to be so insignificant. But I want to tell you this secret. When God looks at you, he sees his image. Number two, when God looks at you, he sees a great giant. When God looks at you, he sees his spirit that is in you. The Bible says that the greater one is he that is in you than the devil that is in the world. Now that the Holy Spirit of God dwells in you, now that Jesus Christ lives within you, you are a great person in the kingdom of God. You are a great person in the kingdom of God. You are not a person to be, to be underlooked. You are not a person to undermine yourself. But you are a person to understand that God is mindful of you. God thinks about you. It took God time to think about you. It took him time to create you. He did just come by accident. So God cannot make such a mistake of sitting taking his time creating a person like you and then you undermine yourself. The plans of God upon your life was that he gives you his image and you, you also continue to transfer his image to other people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not sure whether you are listening or understanding but there is something that God wants us to know. He wants us to know who we are in him. Who are you in God? How do people call you? What do you call yourself? Praise the Lord. You are not what people think that you are. You are what God says that you are. And the only way that you will become who God says that you are is by understanding this identity that you have in God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So David continued to ask himself, Who is man? Who is the son of man? And after that, from verse 5 and verse 8, David sees his rightful position and the privilege that he has. For you have made him little lower than the angels and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands you have put all things under his feet. Wenze kumujira ngi imana haburaho hatu umambika ubgiza ni chuba hilo ni kamba wamu haye gutejeka ibijo wale meshe jino chizawe wamge gurie ibi nubjose ubishira monsi ibi renjebje. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Manishimi. So, as he's speaking this out, avugibi, he looks at himself and he said, now I have understood my position. I have understood the privilege that you have given me. So David knows that God has made, has made him a little lower than God himself. And then he said, oh no, not only me, but all men and women they are in charge of the whole earth. And God has given them authority over every creation. Praise the Lord. We get to a point where we even forget our position. When you look at an aunt, aunt, Agashish, Agashish, you even fear an aunt. Ugatinya Agashish, Agashish. Okay, 
Let us look at the cockroach. Neka turebe ise inyenzi inyenzi. Ya inyenzi zo munzu. Ninde inyenzi yari yagwaho ngo murebe ko ntavsimbuka. Inyenzi. Inyenzi ni iryana cyangwa inyenzi iraryanara sindumva umuntu wariwe ni inyenzi. Ari kureka inyenzi zasimbuka ikugwe hurebe. Ushobora no kujya mu kirero kahera iyo. Inye inyenzi cockroach Praise the Lord Manishimi Yes iyoni that is it is it is a reflex that we all have ni byiyumvira twese dufite but the one one thing that I want us to know is that the position that God has given us nuko umwanya imana yaduhaye is a position of authority ni umwanya wo gutware is a position of dominion ni umwanya wo gutware is a position of power ni umwanya w'imbaraga it is a position that we need to understand ni umwanya dukwiriye gusobanukirwa that he has not given it to anybody else but Uko you imana itawuhaye ibindi byose byaremwa ahubwo yawuhaye wowe he has given it to you yowe so another thing that david sees here ikindi david yavuze hano abari yabonye hano he sees the glory of God. He, and he magnifies the Lord. He gives every credit to God. This is verse 9. The Lord also will be a, refu a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. No, 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 no. Verse 9, verse 9 says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. We take a wacu izina ryawe ni ryiza mu isi yose. How excellent is your name on earth. Mbega ukuntu izina ryawe ari ryiza ku isi yose. You can imagine your glory. I have seen the works of your hand. But you have given me the authority over the works of your hand. I have seen how powerful lions are. I have seen how fast cheetahs are. But one thing that I know you have given me authority over them. Who am I that you think of me, O oh God? Who am I that you think of me? You are so good. And he says in verse 9, he says, Lord our God, how excellent is your name in the earth. How excellent is the name of the Lord. So the Bible has told us that we were created for God and by God to fulfill his plan. So David understood that man is the center, is the pinnacle of God's physical creation. The focus of God's physical creation. Praise the Lord. That is man. That is who you are. Praise the Lord. Praise God. When we read in the book of Romans 8, 16, and 17, that we are almost getting into the teaching. So the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of God and joint co heirs with Christ. I love this scripture. Munani Chuminagatanda tu Umuka we mana uge ahamya Hamanya Ahamanya no muka wachu Yuko Turava Navi mana Yego Kanugo Turava Navayo Yego Turi Navaragua Detse Turavaragua be mana Turi Avaragan wana Christo Echera Hungaho Udecia Hungao so the Bible has told us we are still looking at the plans of God to us. What, go, what is the plan of God upon your life? This is another thing that we have seen. Not only having dominion over the creation but the spirit of God he bears witness with our spirit. 
Amen. He bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And now that we are the children of God, we are the heirs of God. And we are the heirs and joint co heirs with Christ. So, this is another thing that we learn from here. The plan of God upon your life is that you become the heir of the kingdom of God. Remember, this kingdom was there before you were created. He was in his kingdom before you came to existence. I want you to hear me now. God and angel, God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, the board of directors that I talked about before, it took place in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God was there. But God said, who is going to inherit my kingdom? God looked at the animals he had created. He said the lions are not, he said the lions are not going to inherit my kingdom. He said, no, 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 no. Leopards are not going to inherit my kingdom. Now, i it's not low part that are not going to inherit my kingdom. It is man that I have that I, that has to inherit my kingdom. And not every man that will inherit my kingdom. It is only those that have accepted me as their personal savior. For the Bible says that long ago we are not known. But we are now known because of the salvation. We were not a nation but we are a nation of God. We were not forgiven, but we are forgiven of God. We were in darkness, but we are now in light. It is the plan of God to get us out of darkness. It is the plan of God to put us in his light. And after getting us in dark, from darkness to light, he says, I have a kingdom. And I need somebody to inherit my kingdom. And it is not any Anybody that gets this inheritance. We have gotten friends. We have friends. We have friends. We have relatives. But not all your friends, not your friends, it is not your friends that we will inherit your possession. Yeah, we. Have an inheritance. The inheritance, your inheritance is for your children. Or for someone else that you have chosen. But not every friend of yours has a portion in your inheritance. Are we together? So the plan of God is that his children. Will have an inheritance in his kingdom. You are part of this inheritance. So the Bible has told us that we are the heirs, not only heirs, but we are joint co heirs with Christ. So because Christ is the Son of God, it is only Christ that would inherit the kingdom. No, it was Christ that was to be in, to, to inherit the kingdom. But when God looked at us, after giving us his salvation, he said, I have begotten them. I have begotten them. I have begotten them. They are mine. They are my children. They are mine. They have a responsibility of inheritance in my kingdom. They, have, they are my heirs. They will inherit my kingdom. Kingdom. them with Jesus Christ they are our heirs praise the name of the Lord tell your neighbor that you are the heir of the kingdom of God you are a joint co with Christ it is not only Christ that will inherit the kingdom of God but you and Christ will inherit the kingdom of God you are a joint co with Christ the plan of God on your life is that you inherit 
inherit his kingdom is that you become part of the hair of the kingdom of God. Oh, what a privilege. What a privilege. Who are you? That's why David said, Who is man, O oh God, that you are mindful of him? Who am I, O oh God, that you think of me? You can imagine of all creation that God has created. God has decided that you and only you will become a heir of the kingdom of God. That is a very great plan of God. That's why I told you that it is through the love of God. It is through the love of God that we get this inheritance. Praise Jesus. I don't know whether you think of I don't know whether you are understanding this. Since you need to be more kujumva. Mutungo and my wealth Mutungo and is for my children. Nuaba Navanj is for the people that I have decided. Nuaba Nahisemo. But not all my friends will have inheritance in my wealth. I have best friends. Best friends. I can give them. You know, I can share with them something. But it's not a must that I should give them an inheritance. Is it true? So, Imana yicara mu ijuru ikora inama iravuga ngo icya mbere uyu muntu ashaka umuha ubutware icya kabiri ndashaka uyu muntu kumuha kumugira umuragwa w'amasezerano This man I want to make him heir of the promises of the promises Praise the Lord Manishi. So who are you Urinde Have you ever thought about this question who am I Wari wibaza ngo ndinde but I want to remind you that you are the center of focus for God. Read verse 17 of the Romans 8. Kandi ubwo turi abana bayo turi nabaragwa ndetse turi abaragwa b'Imana turi abaraganwa na Kristo ego niba tubabarana nawe ngo duhanwe ubwiza nawe oh hallelujah praise the lord man is shimwe praise the lord man is shimwe this is something very very touching so who we, who we are in the presence of God it matters more than the condition that we see ourselves in today. Who you are in the eyes of God. Who you are in the presence of God. It is so important. It matters so much to God than the condition that you are in today. The condition that you are in today, you will not remain in it forever. You know when we are walking, not all the two legs will go forward at the same time. When the left hand, the left leg goes in front, the right hand remain, the right hand, the right leg remains behind. And when the light comes in front, the left goes behind. That shows the condition that we are in today. It, it is a changing condition. But the promises of God upon our lives. They are there forever. They will change not. God's plan will not be thwarted by anything. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. God has a plan for you. His love for your life is enormous. Praise the Lord. It is so big. 
So who you are in the presence of God matters. When the conditions squeeze you, remember this one thing. That who I am in the eyes of God. It is so powerful than this condition that I am in. So the purpose of life uh, is not only to be happy. No, no, no. It is to be useful. Praise the Lord. The purpose of your life is not only to be happy but it is to be useful in the presence of your creator. It is to fulfill the plans as to why God created you. It is to be honorable in the eyes of God. It is to be compassionate it is to, to have compassion so that you may create a difference. Praise the Lord. We are created to create a difference. This world that we live in it is full of indifferent people. This world that we live in it is the world of indifferent people. You were created to create a difference. You were created to create a change. And when God got you out of the darkness and and when he brought you into his kingdom, there is this thing that you always have to remember. Before you go to bed, ask yourself, what of all God has created me to do? What have I done today? Who have I preached to? Who have I blessed today? Who have I shown compassionate to? Hello. Yes. Praise the Lord. There are some people who will befriend you. There are some people who, who will befriend you. But only to benefit from you. Because they are indifferent. They will try to become your friends. So that they will benefit from you. They will call you, oh honey, sweetheart, what, what, all these other names. Praise the Lord. They seem to be good names, but they are cheap names. Good names, but cheap names. Yes, sweetie. How much is a sweet? Huh? They call you sweetie? A sweet? Ten, ten, ten francs. Honey. How much is honey? I wish they would probably call you land property. What <laughs> They call you sweet names, but very, very cheap. That's why they benefit from you. They <laughs> Look, they call you such names so that they benefit you, you know? No. No, 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 no. People have benefited by the prophecy to many our identity, to many our turibo, to many to go to Kwemera to defend did to defend your faith. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah, you know, my friend, my sweet friend, they are telling you those sweet words so that they will take you from the right position that God wanted you to be in. Praise the 
ntabwo mvuze ngo abagore mwe kwita abagabo banyu cyangwa abagabo banyu mwe kwita abagore banyu mu bita cyo mushaka nta kibazo ariko nge nibo ndavuga abandi baza bakubwira bakwibwirisha neza utuzina twiza kugera ngo bagire cyo baguprofita kandi yo bamaze kuguprofita bagukuye mu gakize nebo bambere bajya hari bakavuga hey we ariko abantu barakizwa ngo buriya nawe numurokore arakuvuga my dear friend yaza kwita akwita bombo kuko we mbaciriritse yarangije gukora ibyo ashatse yarangiza akajya kukuvuga Ilikuwa wa bataranga hali ya hanze, bara wafuga, bara wafuga. Hey, gospel again is to you. Buri ya lero, hali kwa gachiza ki minisi kara nyeweshi. Today's salvation is confusing. Uziko wa mrusa nyeruguwa wali numukorari. Alari rimbo. He is a singer in their church. Yamaza kuku profit. He got advantage of you. Yamaza kuku profit. He got advantage of you. Yamaza kuku dropping hali. And then he drop you outside there. Be careful. Know your position. Know your position in God. Know that you have dominion of everything. Ladies, don't be lied to. Young girls, don't be lied to. They will tell you good words. They will flatter you and you think that, you know, those names are cheap. Boom. Sweet that you can buy. Even if it doesn't, it doesn't have a job, you can manage to buy sweet. I believe that the Lord don't allow anybody to make you that you are of great value how many do have cars and does he or she live in those houses at the same time it can't be Nimwe nari mukireba kabwo ngo yo tera bagenzi banje bose bo twanganaga barashatse ariko se ubusingiye reka nkubwire bire bwo ngo nta kigabo kitare mu kigore cyacyo nta ni kigore kitare mu kigabo cyacyo wikwemera ko bagucirira ikisha kugera ko kagene don't allow them to make you that kind of cheap singe wacu uyu mugana abanyarwanda bacu mugani ngo wigeze gateba yo rivu wikwemera kwigira gatebo uri umuntu wagaciro uri umuntu ukomeye mu bwami bw'Imana defend your faith you are of great value in the kingdom of God. Defend your faith. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I'm remaining with seven minutes. Praise the Lord. But I want you to know this. The mystery of human existence lies not only in staying alive. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. But in finding something to live for. Hallelujah. The mystery of your existence. It does not lie in your existence. But it lies in what you live for. What are you living for? You cannot know what you are living for. Until you know who created you and what he created you for. Every time you want to know the purpose of the existence of anything. You will need to consult the catalog. So the catalog of everything. It shows how this thing is going to be used. So the catalog of your life. 
The catalog of your life. The catalog of your life. It lies in the Bible. It lies in the word of God. You need to understand what the Bible says that you are. You need to understand what God calls you. You need to know who God calls you. Who are you in the house of God? Who are you in the presence of God? Who are you in the eyes of God? What is your position in the presence of God? Who you are matters than what is against you. So the existence of your life is in God. The purpose of your existence is in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to dig deep into this. Try to understand this and stop living a mediocrity life. You are not what, you are not called, you are not serving, you are not, you know. Be committed in the eyes of God. Know who you are in the eyes of God. I need to understand who I am in the eyes of God. And you need to understand the same. Stop living a life of accidents. You go to pray as an accident. Personal prayer. You pray as an accident. You fast as the accident. You give as the accident. You give tithes as the accident. You offer as the accident. You help someone as an accident. Stop living as the accident. You are not created as the accident. God is thought about you. And think about what you do as well. Think about the ministry you do. Know that God there are so many vessels in the house of God. Then which vessel are you in the house of God? And then know that this vessel is very vital. And when it is not there in the house, people will starve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who among you? Who of Every one of us. However poor you are. Lives in a house. And you don't have a saucepan. Because the value of a saucepan. is uh, a saucepan is cheap compared to a value of a car. Isn't it? Sibjo. The saucepan is cheaper than a car. But when you go to sleep, you carry your saucepans in your house. And you leave your cars outside. And yet cars are more expensive than your saucepans. Do you know why? You can live without a car. But you can't live without a saucepan. Because you use it to cook. Praise the Lord. So, a saucepan seems to be cheap, but it is so vital. Praise the Lord. So in the house of God, we are very vital. Don't think that you are a Mercedes Benz. I am a Rory. You have a great value in the house of God. When you are not a person, you are not a person. You are not a person. not undermining you. I am not undermining you. I mean, you have that value near value. You have value. You have value. 
kwibaza if you think I love when any way to this Ningiri one, you must have a hands. Now I said about Tiri. No one has fit. Nakagamara if it even is singles, you have a source. Now I fit the corner was about it. I fit. He has a source pan as well. Now I want your corner of a suit. I saw it before I visited him. Don't laugh. I also have a saucepan. Truly, I have it. None of the people who are here. But they are not here. They are not here. They are not here. They are not here. They are not are but a very expensive car, you leave it outside. Let's stop being in that life of indifference. Praise the Lord. There is a great message in this. So the soul which has no fixed purpose in life is a lost soul. Don't try to be everywhere. We have a purpose. When you try to be everywhere, you will end up being nowhere. I mean it. Yeah. When you try to be everywhere, you end up living nowhere. You end up being nowhere. So you understand the purpose of existence when you acknowledge your creator. Psalm 57 2 says, I will cry out to God most high. To God who performs all things for me. To know more about something, ask your Creator. You are created to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So we will find the purpose of your existence when you personally and passionately. Follow and live the plans, live by the plans of your Creator. So I ask you to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. And then you will find the purpose of existence. When you spend much of, of your life in, in worshiping God, you spend much of your time in enjoying his presence. Praise the Lord. So as I conclude, I want to remind you one thing. That God is mindful of you. So when God wanted to redeem the Israelites. He used Moses. And when God wanted to redeem us, he used Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the bridge between us and God. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to read, but read Exodus 19.4. Five and six. It is a verse that we're going to take home with, with you. Fourteen. Four, fourteen. Nineteen four. Nineteen four. Do some me igitabo chokuva ibi chetu mini murongo wakane. Aravugango ngabo nye ibiona jiri abanye jiputa. It's God saying, you've seen what I did to the Egyptians. Sorry. 
uko naramije mwe amababa nkayikizu nkabizanira reka nsubire mumbabarire mwabonye ibyo nagiriye abanyegiputa kandi uko naramije mwe amababa nkayikizu nkabizanira okay the bible says you have seen what I did to Egyptians. You've seen how I carried you on eagles' wings. No, yes, translated it. How I carried you on eagles' wings. And brought you to myself. So God's plan is to carry us on his wings so that he may gain us so that he may bring us to him. You will get to him when he carries you on his wings. He told the, the Israelites that you saw how I brought you out of Egypt. I carried you on the, on the eagle's wings and brought you to myself. So did Jesus come to us so that he carries us on his wings so that he may get us to the kingdom of God. As the, if you forget everything, Remember that the purpose as to why God created you and I was to fulfill his plan. Was to take the plan of God to the uttermost part of the world. Was to use to, to, to implement the great commission was to inherit the kingdom of God. And he did it in great love. He has a plan for your life. He has a plan for your future. A plan, for, plan on how you have to do and to carry his plan as well. May God bless everyone of you. And may God do you good. Let us clap for God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet. I want you to raise your hands in the presence of God. I want you to raise your hands in the presence of God. I want you to talk to your God. Tell God how, how you yearn to see him. Uh, and tell him that God I need you to become the master of my life may the plans that you have, have upon my life be fulfilled may I become who you created me to be I am not cheap as people think that I am I am so valuable in your presence oh God. I am so valuable oh God Father in the name of Jesus Christ I want to thank you this wonderful afternoon. I thank you for your word, O Jesus. You've reminded us who we are, O God. You've reminded us, O Lord, the position that we need to take. We thank you for that, Jesus. We give you glory and we give you praise. We thank you for everything and we thank you for what you've done. Let our lives glorify you. Let our lives live for a purpose, O God. We need to create a difference in this world of different people. Bless your people, God. Bless, Bless your children, Father. Bless them abundantly. Bless them exceedingly. Bless them above and beyond, O oh God. Let your name be glorified. Bless your people, Jesus. As they go back home, let them go with your blessing. I cover them with the blessing of God. I cover them with anointing of the Holy Spirit. I declare a blessing upon them. No weapon fashioned against their life that they fail. In the name of Jesus Christ, they are more than conquerors. They are victors in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the week we are going to begin tomorrow, it will be a week of great breakthroughs in their life. No weapon fashioned against their lives that will prevail over their lives. In the name of Jesus, they are blessed. They are top and not beneath. They are blessed and not cast. You are turning their tears into joy. In Jesus' mighty name. I thank you and I bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Do we have somebody in our midst who is not born again?
Would that Jesus that would want to receive Jesus as their personal savior? I want to see your hand. If you are not saved, that you want to be part of it. God bless you. Let us greet one another. As I told you, the, the people I read, I ask you, uh, to immediately sit there and Arthur, Arthur, Emma, Emma, David, David, Hope, Hope, Mama Ivani, Mama Ivani, Paul and Hambara, Hambara Paul, and Sylvia, and Sylvia. May God bless you.